Hello everyone and welcome to another Transformers haul update. Um, I've been doing boot fairs again this weekend and I've got to say I've probably had one of the best weekends I've ever had for actually picking stuff up. Um, I only went to actually a couple, yeah two boot fairs. I actually only went to two. Um, the first one I went to on the Saturday I picked up a box and I'll say sealed in box because I actually took him out he'd never been opened and I got Decepticon drop shoot from the universe lines and um, he was a real bargain I mean consider brand he's absolutely brand new mint in box looks a little bit bad but nothing major got him for three pounds brand new with everything obviously included because of he's being sealed um, and I thought really that's made my weekend anyway I thought fantastic to pick up a boxed um, transformer for that sort of money um, but then I went to the next one and I came across to start with I thought it was going to be the usual sort of scratching around for odd bits and stuff and I picked up on these little attack Tactics, something like that, figures, um, Optimus Prime, not sure if that's the right sort of missile thing for him, but I picked up him, not bad little sort of thing, just for a laugh really, um, I've picked the odd ones up already of those different characters, so kind of just sort of adds in with what I've already got, um, but then I came across, oh that was another thing I got, a couple of junkers of the Cyberverse Megatron, but the two junkers made one complete one, so that was alright. And I found a junker of Cyberverse Ratchet, which again I might find another junker with the right arm, what's missing, well it's left arm actually, but um, what's missing, and uh, I might be able to fix him and just sort of sell him on. I've already got both of those figures anyway, so they were kind of like saying nothing really. And then I came across. I assume my mum selling off her kids' toy collection, and he had Lego, and he had uh, Star Wars figures like the new ones, not the old sort of stuff. And I'm not so bothered about old Star Wars, uh, the newer Star Wars figures. I've got a few of those, and I've got all my old collection of Star Wars stuff. But um, so I weren't really interested in them. And I pulled out drawers as it was like when those plastic storage boxes I pulled out drawers and then oh there's a drawer of Star Wars Transformers so I got an eye on complete including his instructions he's only missing his blaster and General Grievous which he's missing his little man as well his little sort of version of himself um, but if you remember on one of my other haul vids I picked up one of these missing loads of parts and I was going to pick up the bits if I saw them well I don't really need to worry now so that could could just be for spare parts or a custom or something like that now um, unless of course I find another one and I find the right bits and I'll repair it and get rid of it but yeah so I got General Grievous so that was fine put them down out the way now as I say there's more than one Star Wars Transformer because there was also a complete Obi-Wan Kenobi with his little man in the cockpit and again absolutely complete all the parts in nice condition okay so I got him as well um, there's also a clone pilot figure he's got a little bit of damage his cockpit's a little bit loose one of the connection pieces is damaged but and he's missing these two big guns but other than that He's sort of more or less all there, complete. He's even got his little clone pilot pilot figure inside. Um, I'll do something to sort out that canopy, even if I have to fix it on permanent or something like that. But again, it's only a boot fair find. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, and then complete other than his lightsabers, Darth Vader TIE Fighter. Again, everything complete other than like the lightsaber firing sort of missiles. Um, he does have his little Darth Vader figure as well inside. So again, great. 
So I thought, well, that's brilliant anyway. You know, you find those in one drawer, you find the instructions for them and everything as well. So I thought, great. So I pulled out the drawer below it. And then I found, and hang on, because this will take some more doing. There is Joel from, I assume that's either Revenge of the Fallen or Dark of the Moon. I think it's Revenge of the Fallen line. Again, completely undamaged, nothing missing. I don't believe he ever came with like any other weapons. He's got his blade things in his arms, but perfect condition and his instructions. So I got that. Um, a cannon blast, which is a simplified sword transformer of Ironhide in red. Okay, not as fantastic as like a proper deluxe figure maybe. Uh, with that was a cannon blast Megatron version. Again, simplified, but it's still transformable. It's not too bad. I mean, it's, again, for what it costs, who cares really. Um, a Revenge of the Fallen sideways. Again, complete. Nothing missing, nothing broken. And these instructions again. Uh, now, this one I have to look up because it's not one I was fam as familiar with. And this is a Cybertron line downshift with both weapons and his missiles and his cyber planet key. Again, all complete. He's got a little bit of scuffing on that on the top, but I think that will just sort of clean off. But uh, we can shot a bit better. But another great, you know, great find. This is all in one drawer. Um, a stalker version of Scorponok, which I don't also have. I've got normal Scorponok, but not this version. So again, great, you know, I've gained a, a recolor version of a figure without having to pay out for the full price. So again, great. I ain't finished yet. This is again, it's all from the same seller. Um, a Scout class, which I also do already have. I'm trying to find his name because I'm terrible at remembering. Dirt Boss. So I've got a complete Dirt Boss. And I think he had his instructions as well. We've also got a Scout class Dead End. Again, all complete, undamaged, nothing wrong with him at all. And we're still going because down in the bottom of the box there was also Cyberverse Springer, which again I've got, so again I should get rid of that one. A Cyberverse Bumblebee, which is actually a different Bumblebee, the way it transforms from the other ones I've got. So he's actually a keeper, which is an unusual one for a Bumblebee because I don't really like him. But that's just because they can be colouring him really. Um, so that finished. Another one of the Cyberverse Megatrons, but again, that's probably a get rid of again because I'd like say I've got that one. Ah, a different Cyberverse from I think the Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime, but different from the other one I've got, so that's a keeper again. And backing cards for most of these as well, I'd point out. They still have. Cyberverse Jetfire, which is another one I don't have, so again. Another bonus, and his backing card as well. And a different version from the one I've already got, a Fallen figure, which is, I think this is like a fire version, something like that. Um, completely complete, undamaged, nothing missing. So again, great, you know. Again, all from the same person. And then to top it off in the same drawer, with again instructions and everything included, I've left this one in vehicle mode because it looks better in vehicle mode. I found the twins as the ice cream van. Now I've kind of wanted, but been a bit low to pay out proper prizes for it. But again, un completely unmolested, undamaged. Again, with instructions, as I say, um, perfect condition, really. And again, same drawer. And that was the last really in that drawer. So I was pretty chuffed as you imagine. She even gave me the box to carry them um, 
home in like back to the van um, but as I was going back round the actual boot fair I found another fallen in the flame effect and he was two quid and I found although he needs a bit of restoration a bit of repair a power master prime from the G1 line and again two quid now he's missing a couple of the internal ramps in his legs obviously his big head and the four guns and the power master but they're things I might be able to pick up and I could restore him if I got the apex armor I could have the two versions because I've actually got him boxed from when I was a kid so it's either a case of a, do a, uh, a different version of him with the armor and keep it or I might just sort of restore it a little bit and then sell it on whatever um, but yeah that's it and all of that lot including the box one came to a grand total of £21 now I felt almost a little bit guilty buying it at that price because where the woman was selling off all those toys in one hit that was 15 quid out of that one drawer the other sort of three like I say that's what's that four the other three like the box one and the last two came to uh, seven pounds so yeah I think the maths is right. What was that seven? Hold on, fifteen. No, it's twenty-two pound. Sorry, my mistake. Twenty-two pound in total. But for what I got, I think that's kind of a bargain, don't you? Um, and again, perfectly proves my point. Boot fairs are worth a look, even though you do get a lot of tat and broken bits. It's often the case you could always repair those bits if they were. Um, Sort of bits missing you quite often come across the same box more than once remember they did sell a lot of them so there's always an opportunity to pick up spare parts but uh, yeah to find ones complete with instructions and that I mean you could say mint loose complete you know you're not going to find them anywhere else not on eBay or anywhere like that for that kind of money so I was pretty chuffed and I'd have to say yeah best haul ever for a weekend of boot fairing considering as well like I say only two boot fairs anyway I thought I'd show you my little haul and uh, also say thank you to everybody who subscribed to me and um, picked up some more ones recently I haven't had the forethought to actually write your names down otherwise I'd read them out but if you're watching this you know you are um, I would make a mention that as a young lad who uh, the odd uh, Skype conversation either by text or actually we did do a video chat as well which is Bumble Blogging um, his name's Mike or Michael I should say um, he's a nice lad and he's worth checking out he's uh, doing some interesting little bits he's trying to do a custom sort of menace with some modern uh, like Dark of the Moon Transformers so it's worth a look um, but yeah I thought I'd give him a little mention as well so hope you've enjoyed that uh, well it's not a review hope you've enjoyed that full vid um, hope I haven't made anyone too green eyed um, but yeah I shall see you again for another review I shall probably still be carrying on with the Micromaster line there's not many more to go thank god um, and maybe I'll review something a bit newer Ooh, G1 I don't know the collection is getting bigger and bigger and uh, um, yeah so anyway I shall see you again and wish you all the best and thanks for watching